व्हाट्सअप लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन एक बार फिर से आपका स्वागत है हमारे शो में और आज के एपिसोड में सबसे पहले हम ये देखेंगे किस तरह से नावी ने जीता ई एस प्रो लीग सीजन 14 जहां पे उन्होंने वाइटालिटी को ओवरऑल स्कोर लाइन पे तीन दो से मात दी उसके बाद आगे बढ़ेंगे और नजर डालेंगे गॉडलाइ केस का स्पोर्ट्स चैंपियनशिप थ्री के बीजीएमआई विक्ट्री के ऊपर फिर होगा एक इंटरव्यू विद अ प्लेयर फ्रॉम रेवेंट ई स्पोर्ट्स जहां पे एक बार फिर से कॉल ब्यूटी मोबाइल वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप की बातें हम करने जा रहे हैं एंड नो एपिसोड इज कंप्लीट विदाउट अ बंच ऑफ मीम सोन के ऊपर भी नजर डालेंगे विद दैट आउट ऑफ द वे माय नेम इज वरुण जॉन एंड यू गाइस आर वाचिंग द वर्ल्ड ऑफ ई स्पोर्ट्स तो so, नावी ने जीता है ई एस प्रो लीग सीजन 14 का खिताब और इस फाइनल्स के मैच को रेडिट और ट्विटर पर मैच ऑफ द ईयर भी कहा जा रहा है इट वाज अ फाइव मैप थ्रिलर एंड वन ट्रू चैंपियन जो कि बन के उभरी नावी अब इसी के साथ खत्म हुआ है इंटेल ग्रैंड स्लैम सीजन थ्री और नावी जीत चुकी है वन मिलियन डॉलर का प्राइज मनी अपने ले। लेकिन चलिए नजर डालते हैं मैच के हाईलाइट के ऊपर We'll see if the pistol does as well. They return through the early crawl, and Simple does eventually win out on his tons jewels. I will immediately equalize, and it's up to Mizuta here. He's going one for one. Chaos in the mid doors. Kyojin's got to hold on to what he has. It's Kit and two flash won't get to use it if he's hunted down. All right. Well, they're still pivoting around the map here. Another smoke from Electronic now. That'll be. A re-smoke on the mid to B, isolating Kyojin here towards CT. It shocks over towards Kari. He's on his loans and flashed on through Kyojin's trying to get there to help him out. Flash could do everything, and it doesn't quite hit the mark, but shocks his bullets do, and another from Kyojin in support. Thrust simple into a one versus three. And closing that gap fast, the rotates on its way. He wants to isolate this as fast as possible. Zai was just going to buy time. Lovely positioning from him, just peppers him on the jiggle. Simple running out of opportunities here, and a nice conversion. Zaiwu with two, and Vitality taking our pistol. Nipex looking the wrong way. He's in a lot of trouble here. The counter flash is oh, good. He manages his he spray. That? I have no idea. And that smoke, hoping to at least support his teammate Shocks. They're crawling into the B side. The bombs on the back. Electronics killed the rotate, and there's nothing for Shocks to report. Falls apart for Vitality is. Image is getting closer and closer, and there he is. Kyojin cannot convert. Navi uh, obliterate Vitality, and now the scoreline sitting at two to two. Now this, yeah, this, this here. How does he manage this? You look, at, he's so flustered. That's a flustered spray right there. Yeah, we didn't catch these initially, but this is Electronics' pair of frags, and yeah, Apex caught as he was trying to support Shocks. You could see Shocks really didn't get many opportunities there. Holding mid to be at bay on his lonesome, and he's even going to evacuate the site. This is opening up the avenue to save, but he would need to win this fight, and he has three v three now. Oh, he's just there in time. They're edging out of the tunnels, holding a slip, oh, a gap, dink. and a dink into the head of Perfecto. He finishes the job as well. Shocks is here, and he's making it a competitive round after all. He was alone, Chad. But well, they can smoke doors. Simple has one to drop. It's gonna go down. Even has a molly for the window if he'd like. But he knows where they both are. One site, one bricks. They can close this tunnels gap fast. Bomb now ticking. Simple posted up to receive them here on tunnels. And the Molotov, well timed. Buys time. That's a snappy one out of bit. Straight on the door's presence. They're uncertain as to how many are coming in from tons, but as the molly fades, simple strikes. One for one. Zaiwu puts him down. It's on to bit. Closing the gap here loudly. Looking for bit. The element of surprise is all he needs. And call it four. Shocks made that competitive, but bit just too good. Up short early. Zaiwu and Apex bit partner of timing up. here. And they will be behind the doors, players. Bit loud about this. Quick to find it. That was supposed to be the mid smoke. Boomage slips into one. Masuta collect. Here we go. Vitality a successful defense on the cards. And just a couple more to find. Simple can't escape. And that will be the third. A clean one as well. He's working on a very ratty angle here, but the flash looks well timed. He's aggressing. Zaiwu. Oh no, no flash, no luck. Apex with one. The divider smoke keeps him relevant. Trying to contest this plant with just the two of them. Still the rotate coming in. Kyojin from short to support. Hanging around, looking for any opportunity into this one. And that's the duel. Needed one more. Time. 14 seconds. That's a big one from Kyojin. Colossal. He takes them both down. He confirms Perfecto short. This should be there around every day of the week. And that's great from Kyojin. He 
Bees have the site, they have the plant. 40 seconds thrust onto the clock, and the CTs. Oh no. They scarper. They're saving at this point. Remember, there's no loss bonus for vitality. I mean, that's a dream. The Lakes will get to defend their honor with a viable set of weaponry. The smokes confirm his suspicions. Kyojin readies himself for war. Left alone, this slow crawl of Na'Vi. The pressure present for both. The shock's caught out, still adjusts. Perfecto will not be present in middle. And now forced to watch as Na'Vi have a go for me. Five, Masuta makes it three. Vitality wanted to extend play and deny. Within touching distance, Boomich has something to say about it. Apex goes unchecked, it's everything. A smoke to try to draw fire. Masuta careful now. T-side AWP in play. Great nade to soften him up. Boomich is slipping through though. And Masuta unprepared for it. Nearly caught another. A low HP shocks. Backs are turned one for one. It could not be closer, Chad. Two on two for all the marbles. A push goes short for Boomich. And it's simple. Appropriately met by Zaiwu to deny. Let's go. A full 30. Okay. And he's in. Oh my god, he's going fast. He's in. It should be his. Zywu collects. Still one in the feed. Bit keeps it competitive. Overtime looms a man advantage. Vitality though, are they accounting for simple? He's struck on the rotate. Shots will not have any more impact. And Apex has made a meal of it. Suddenly Zywu and Masuta with it all to do. An A finish. Masuta still miles away over on the B site. Na'Vi have so much time to play with though, and they are not gonna let this one slip. Comms at an all-time high. Bomb going down as I finish this sentence. And the smokes are still up. Looking to plant as safe from short as he possibly can. Bomb has been planted. Orp on CT, Zaiwu trying to pull us into overtime. Na'Vi, two flicks of the mouse away, but Zaiwu still denies Perfecto's chance. Dink down. 4 HP, wants to check CT, Simple's not going for it, but Masuta versus Simple, and it's good for the Na'Vi boys. Only Zaiwu can possibly save them. Only Zaiwu can deny the Intel Grand Slam. Na'Vi, a couple of bullets is all it takes, and there it is. और अगर ट्रॉफी जीतने की बात कर रहे हैं तो हमारे लोकल सीन के अंदर टीम गॉड लाइक जीत चुकी है स्काई स्पोर्ट्स चैंपियनशिप 3.0 के चैंपियन बनने का खिताब एक्स टी एस एम एंटिटी का लाइनअप जो कुछ समय पहले गॉडलाइक का हिस्सा बन गया था उन्होंने स्काई स्पोर्ट्स चैंपियनशिप में अपना डोमिनेशन दिखाया और हासिल कर लिया है चैंपियंस का खिताब गॉडलाइक ने फाइनल्स में 438 पॉइंट्स कलेक्ट किए विद वेरी कंसिस्टेंट परफॉर्मेंस जो अपने साथ ले गए 12 लाख का प्राइज मनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू जॉनथन नियो घातक जी गॉड एंड क्लच गॉड इंडिया प्लेस का वीक टू और भी ज्यादा धमाकेदार था और इस बार हमको इन्फ्लुएंसर्स खेलते हुए नजर आए गैंग बीस जो कि एक बहुत ही ज्यादा मजेदार गेम है तो चलिए इसके ऊपर भी नजर डालते हैं Welcome to Norwin Gaming Presents India Place 2.0. Oh, मेरा नाम है ओशन एंड मेरे साथ है मिथ पैट मेरे साथ चीटिंग हुई है भैया नाक काट दी धक्का दिया जा रहा है दोनों लाइक वहाँ पे भी वो लिफ्ट में भी गड़बड़ चल रहा है यहाँ पे भी गड़बड़ चल रहा है बुल अटैक क्यों नहीं कर रहा बुल्स भी अटैक कर अरे गया ये तो देखो स्टोरी बहुत दिया तो गुड चांस है राउंड सी माइट बी एबल टू डू दिस टाइम आल्सो पकड़ वाओ आई मीन विद बट अजीब बात नहीं हर बार एंड में यही दोनों लोग बचते हैं हां हां नहीं एंड दिस टाइम ओ लैग ऑन विंस नाउ अरे इसके अंदर में डालो इसके अंदर तो 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 नो ही इज नॉट ओ ही प्रेडिक्शन अगेन रमन चोपड़ा घर से खींचने बाहर शुड नॉट बी नियर लावा तू भी खुद भी क्या कर रहा है नहीं यार 
उठा लिया नहीं गई 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 एक काम करना है डॉक्टर तमीम को नहीं जीतने देना है क्योंकि तमीम जीता है अभी तक लेट जाता वो अरे अरे I just came here to jump. Good. <laughs> bye bye. Oh bye. Oh. You are playing of what? I'm looking. Ah! Bye. No way. Oh. तो अभी इंडियन गेमिंग कम्युनिटी के अंदर स्पेशली अगर फोकस करूं मैं कॉल ड्यूटी मोबाइल कम्युनिटी के अंदर बहुत ज्यादा बड़ा हाइप बना हुआ है रिगार्डिंग द अपकमिंग कॉल ड्यूटी मोबाइल वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप जहां पे इंडिया से तीन टीम्स क्वालिफाई हो चुके हैं अब इन तीनों में से दो टीम से तो हम बात कर चुके हैं बच चुकी है बस एक टीम दैट इज रेवन एट ई स्पोर्ट्स और आज हम उसी टीम के एक प्लेयर से बात करने जा रहे हैं सो यू वी गो राइट लेडीज एंड जेंटमेन जैसा आप लोगों को कहा था दिस टाइम वी हैव विद अस बेस फ्रॉम रेवन एंड ई स्पोर्ट्स सर्विस हाउ आर यू डूइंग आई एम गुड ब्रो व्हाट अबाउट यू आई एम डूइंग गुड एज़ वेल एंड इट्स अ प्लेजर टू हैव यू विद अस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑन द शो आई वांट टू लाइक व्हाट इज इट फील लाइक टू मेक इट टू द बिग स्टेज नाउ दिस टाइम टू द वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप दैट्स वेयर यू आर हेडेड इट इट फील्स अनरियल लाइक इट्स इट्स हार्ड टू बिलीव दैट वी हैव रीच्ड दिस पॉइंट And we started off you know playing for fun and stuff and then to believe like to think that we're here like after all the effort that for tennis it's it's something unreal i mean it is it is an unreal feeling but i'm pretty sure you're going to do great once you make it to the big stages as well uh, but i want to take a step back like i want to know how your journey in esports started like how did you go from whatever you're doing before this to being one of the best players in the country Uh I guess gaming was always like a, a passion for me because I've always yeah. been playing games for ever since I was born I guess. But then esports as a thing I grew interest in it ever since Overwatch was released. Overwatch is a PC oh. game. Yeah. So since 2016 it was when my like interest in esports grew. But then as time went on I was more of a console and PC gamer but then like during my 12th standard COD Mobile's beta was released. So I started playing then just happened to be you know all right at it and I guess I just formed a team with friends and that just evolved into this And I mean the evolution has been pretty massive as well cuz I mean I've heard <laughs> horror, horror stories of people who went up against you in those early days <laughs> I mean everyone was scared so I want to know what what was the reason man what was the secret weapon that you used that made everyone fear you as a player I guess I'd say I just had fun with the game you know cuz i've always been very competitive i don't yeah. like to lose i've always been about winning so even if it's like a casual match i do try to win even though you know, i'm laughing outside and stuff so i guess that competitive nature also added to the fact that you know i was always into having fun and i wanted to get better so playing for fun just made me better as time went on and i guess that's what made me good at the game cuz when you enjoy doing what you're doing you just naturally get better at it Yeah I mean that that is uh, that is right on point I mean you just do what you're doing and you will get better eventually if you focus as well with time but uh, talking about time I mean you have been a part of this community called Ready Mobile community for a long time I want to know from you what are the changes that you have seen uh, since those early days like a year back till now Uh I'd say definitely the community has changed quite a bit because when I first started playing the game the community was very small even though i had had like a large player base the community was always very small you could you know almost name everyone in the community and you can tell like where they played and stuff like that yeah, but as time went on more people did you know join the community but the people that started off you know the ogs like most of them are still playing the game and like it is quite it's nice to see familiar faces but it's also incredible to see that the game has grown and reached new people And exactly I mean as you said I mean you guys were quite critical in doing that as well with the performances that you and 
uh, the rivals that you have from within uh, our own region have sort of the results you've been putting up on, on display. But along with that, I mean, talking about results uh, and the fact that uh, you mentioned that you started playing the game when you were in 12th grade, I want to know what was the reaction from your parents like to you finally saying, all right, this is what I'm doing, I'm playing video games for money. Uh, I guess they were, they were always supportive of it because they never mm. discouraged me from playing games because I always made a promise to them that I will score marks and you just let me do what I want to do. And they were yeah. always fine with that idea. So playing games was never like a very abrupt thing to them. It was always like a side-by-side -side thing. But yeah. then when, when they got to know about like the World Championship, because we participated in it last year as well, yeah. and things didn't go as planned. And when they saw like that emotional outburst, they were they were shocked to see how involved I was in all of this. And I guess their support grew even more like after that. And then now when I you know told them, they were the first people I called and told that you know we actually qualified for the world championship and we're going abroad. And yeah. they they just started crying out of happiness, and that was that was one of the most emotional moments for me. I mean, it, it definitely has to be because, I mean, just the fact that they were supportive enough to allow you to do this and you also made a promise like, all right, I can do both the things at the same time and you have been doing that for a while now. It is just an incredible journey, but I mean, on this journey, you've made it to, again, the World Championship, the Call of Duty Mobile World Championship this time and you will be facing the best teams of uh, all around the world where two of the other teams that will be in the competition, you know really well. I mean, uh, IND and uh, we do have uh, Vitality being there as well. So I want to know from you, like how good do you feel about your chances of lifting the trophy? We are very confident as a team because yeah. we know our strengths, our weaknesses and we've been working towards all of it for quite a while now. So I'm sure, yes, there is a lot of tough competition from not only from our region, but from mm -hmm. across the world as well. But I'm sure we can. We are prepared enough to pull through. And uh, I mean, uh, if you talk about weaknesses, I want to know from you. What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge before the World Championship actually arises? I'd say the biggest challenge before the World Championship is one: we will be facing teams from you know other countries, yeah. so it'll be hard to you know exactly be completely prepared for them. Because if you take our, our own region teams like Insidious and Vitality, you know yeah. we scrim them every day, and there's not much of you know a ping difference. So it's usually like fair grounds and we play, we, you know, we get a better idea and understanding of how those teams play. But then when it comes to teams abroad, we aren't, you know, exactly used to that. Every region has its own meta and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. adapting to that will be, I guess, the biggest concern. And I guess the next thing that matters the most is, I believe, how many teams are actually going to be confident, when, you know, when you're put in that venue, in that <laughs> arena. Yeah. And when you're playing, playing a LAN event and not in your region and you're going to not get as much support so yeah. the way the teams play when they are there at that place at the arena is what is going to be the determining factor exactly i mean it is going to be super important because this uh, this is one of the first times i believe the call of duty mobile players from india will be attending a lan of this scale uh, i mean the world championship itself it's one of the biggest things for the games to happen in uh, since the, since the games launched uh, and being on that stage as you mentioned i mean the nerves can get to you. So I want to know from you, like, how does your team actually plan on controlling those nerves and making sure that you have a positive output on the stage? Uh, we haven't really thought about that. But then yeah. I feel like, again, you know, we're a team that you know, has fun with what they do. Yes. So I feel yes. like, you know, in a day or two, once we get used to it, we'll be back on track. In the beginning, <laughs> yeah, it might be very, you know, like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. But then yeah. after, you know, we've settled in after a day, we'll be back on track again. I mean, I, I have to say it's it's going to be a pleasure to watch you lads perform on that stage because as you said, I mean, I, I know the signature, I figured it out, the signature style for you guys is just having fun inside the game. And it's going to be fun to watch you guys as well. Uh, but uh, just one last thing I want to know, like any sort of words that you, you have for the fans that have been supporting you, for your family that have been supporting you all this time? I mean, I guess I would like to start off by saying a massive thank you for actually you know supporting us and you know being with us throughout the journey because their support is what keeps us going on when people you know appreciate you for doing something it makes you want to do it more and you know get better for them yeah, so yeah. for the fans who actually you know watch out for us and actually congratulate us and appreciate us and even if we lose you know they say no it's all right you can win tomorrow you know that really means a lot to us and then I'd like to thank my family and friends and they have been a key role in 
shaping me up to be the player that I am today and the person that I am. So without that support, I wouldn't be here. So I'd say just keep supporting us and you will see us shine. And I have to say, I mean, you have been an incredible person to talk to in this interview as well. It was an absolute pleasure to have this conversation with you, Abish. Thank you so much for giving us your time and good luck for that performance on the World Championship. Thank you so much, bro. अब बारी हो चुकी है कुछ मीम्स की और मीम्स में भी कहीं ना कहीं सच्चाई हमको सुनने को मिलती है उनमें से एक ही है कि कुछ प्लेयर्स ऐसे होते हैं जो अपनी अबिलिटीज को दूसरों को मारने की जगह सिर्फ खुद को हील करने के लिए यूज करते हैं और साथ ही साथ वन टैप किल्स का मजा कुछ और ही होता है एंड वन ऑफ द प्लेयर्स आई लुक अप टू वाइल in my counter strike days wash pasha biceps and he will always be an emotion i wish i had hands like that though तो इसी के साथ खत्म होता है हमारा आज का ये एपिसोड एंड टू मेक श्योर यू डोंट मिस द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल हिट दैट बेल आइकॉन एंड डू लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एज वेल अगर आपको पसंद आया तो और कमेंट्स में हमें बताइए आपके क्या ख्याल थे नावी की विक्ट्री के बारे में गॉड लाइक की विक्ट्री के बारे में एंड अबाउट द मीम्स इज वेल अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम टेक केयर बाय